Now watch what I'm doing here. Watch how I hit this ball. Are you watching me? Are you watching me? I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. You see me review this game before, not very much, but Minor 2049er for the Atari. Yeah, uh, all I have to say is, what the hell? Like, when you jump off too high, you pretty much jump off anything and miss. Yeah, you're a puddle. Um, I don't know what the gravitational pull on this planet is, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, could you imagine this guy just trying to sit down? On top of that, if you touch any one of the enemies, I guess they're nuclear waste or something, you just instantly liquefy, making this weird jizzy sound. Now what exactly is going on here? Even if they are some sort of toxic chemical or something that would melt you instantly, why are you fluctuating like that? Um, I mean, if you're touching something that chemically destructive, you'd think... It'd be more like a scene from Robocop or... or Toxic Avenger or something. Oh, he's faking it, Joey. He's faking it. Your move, creep. Hey, 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 it's all right. Can someone explain to me, please, what's happening to me here when I die? H how? Why? Uh, anyway, it's death number five, and number six, I guess. Super jizz death and friggin' gravitational pull of... Yeah, death. Day. We interrupt your video game death video for this important message. Don't you wish one day you could like wake up and become He-Man and walk up to your bus driver and do this? <laughs> we now will continue the video game death video. This next game is called BC Quest for Tires. Now I've been doing a lot of Atari games because they have the most ridiculous deaths. I just have to do it for now. I'll, I'll get back to some NES deaths after this. But yeah, when you touch anything in this game, a little hole. Um, you get hit by something, you touch a tree, you make this orgasm face, and you evaporate, and your wheel flies away. Oh yeah, you're supposed to be a caveman riding a wheel, by the way. I honestly think he bears a greater resemblance to a horse, but what do I know? Um, I just, I don't get this face here. What's with that face? I mean, if you were taking a dump, I could understand that. Or maybe he is simultaneously. <laughs> No, but seriously, if I were to run into a tree or get smacked in the head with a club or run over a hole, um, I, I guess my face might look like that, but I think it would make more sense to look like this. I mean, how fast can he be going on that wheel anyway for him to warrant uh, disintegration after he runs into a hole and say, I mean, he might trip and fall off, but he just completely disintegrates into a little, little puff of smoke. I think that's what that is. I think the race driving game and the BC Quest for Tires game should trade deaths, because uh, it would make more sense that way. I'm sure the horseman wouldn't catch on fire. I guess it would make more sense for the car and race driver to disintegrate when you drive into a bar at 80 plus miles an hour. The other way is your legs super stretch out and you plummet to your death, but that's not as funny as, you know, disintegrating. So that's death number seven. Disintegration, death, and plummet to your face death. Final fight for the SNES. Now this isn't too abnormal the way they do it. If you get the hell beaten out of you, you fly a mile away and you die. But uh, I just want to focus on the sound Hagar makes when he dies. <laughs> Oh my.
my cup. <laughs> I also like how you find like a gigantic steak in a set of tires. Like, who put that there in the first place and why are you eating it? Yeah, we're, we're just gonna call that the I'm so upset I'm going to vomit death. The zombies. You say they're eating our brains. They need to be eating U.S. beef. It's good for them. Okay. They'll like it. You weak, pathetic fool. All too easy. Mortal Kombat. Now you had to see this one coming. I mean, here's a series that primarily focuses on the most unrealistic, ridiculous deaths ever. That's why anyone wants to play it. I mean, that's why I did. Just so you can see the insanely stupid finishing moves that didn't make any sense. Um, I picked Mortal Kombat 2 above all the rest only because it was the only Mortal Kombat game I had any fun with that wasn't impossibly hard. Now, I'm not sure what anyone else, but I've seen previews and clips and stuff on YouTube for the newer Mortal Kombat games and they don't really, they don't have the same taste anymore, if you know what I mean. If you look at uh, parts 1, 2, and 3, they use like actual actors and real people they put into the game and that's what I think gave it the entertaining value of doing all the finishing moves, because it's like, I don't gotcha. know, you're killing someone real, I, I suppose, but... You suck, Crispy. You're still trying to win? Is that your best? <laughs> Digital animated characters. It's just not the same, you know? It, to give you an example of what I mean, let's go back to the Star Wars series, for example. I don't mean games, I mean the movies. I mean, take a classic movie like this and try to digitally revamp it so it's more up to today's standards. It's a classic for a reason. No one expects super high tech graphics back in the 70s and 80s, so why are you trying to change it? Uh, aside from trying to get more money in as a use as a marketing ploy, but anyway, you know what I mean. I guess I feel that Mortal Kombat would have been better if they just kept it the way it was with real actors and everything, not that it really matters. Anyway, let's watch some of the deaths from Mortal Kombat 2. I love the fact how they can scream after their head exploded. That's, I just love that. That's just that's awesome. Finish it. Finish it. Finish her. I also love how some of the corpses and body uh, the body parts from the corpses have like eight legs and six hearts and stuff like that sometimes. Finish it. I, uh, I, no, I, I, no, I, I don't, that doesn't make, no. Finish it. Finish it. You also gotta love the fact that the torso remains standing perfectly straight, no problem. The upper half of my body just exploded a million pieces, but my legs are still gonna stand. Finish her. Finish her. It's like he was just a piece of spaghetti. Finish it. 
I don't get this either. Like, you stab him in the neck, so why is he going shifting from his chest to his neck, his chest to his neck again? Look at that. What's going on here? Finish him. Finish her. <laughs> That's gotta be the best death ever. One day I'm gonna get so pissed off at someone I'm just gonna uppercut their face and the whole body's gonna explode to a mass of guts. Finish him. Johnny Cage, you can punch some guy's head off three times and you can rip the upper half of his body off without the bottom half of his body going anywhere. You're a dick. Finish it. Primary ignition. So this is death number. You know what? I'm not even keeping track anymore. Just it's another death, and we're just gonna call these series of deaths. Um, well, I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, that that sounds about right. Well, that concludes part three of Video Game Deaths. Sorry it took so long to bring it out. I'm just a very busy man, so I'm bound to make more episodes. So just keep checking my YouTube site for updates, and I'll be there sooner or later. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Chewie, come here.